Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. Please sit down. Uh, now, if you don't mind, I'll have a great snack. Thank you, assistant. So my name is William Edwards Boeing. I was born on October 1st of 1881. Uh, when I was a young lad, I worked for a lumber mill in a lumber yard. Uh, I, I even worked as a hardware store, in a hardware store. Uh, la uh, years later, I was hired by a man named Carl Ottoman, and then I married his daughter. Now we shall continue to... Oh, so who, put, who put that there? Come on! Come. Oh, what is this? Okay, that's me! Would you like to hear about my business? Huh? No, no, you gotta come back, please! Let me go! Okay, um, I think you will find it quite enjoy. Meant. Okay. My life as an entrepreneur has... Williams Edward Boeing, as you know it today. Okay. So in 1909, I attended my first, very first LA exhibition flight in Los Angeles, and I became very fascinated with planes. So enough so that I brought my very first plane and started receiving flying lessons. In 1914, I flew an airplane for the first time, and I crashed it. Um, but two years later, that horrific incident. I knew that I could build a better, stronger, faster plane. So I started a business partnering with my old, good old friend, George Conrad. Together we found the Pacific Aero Products. In 1917, I renamed it to Boeing's Airplane Co. During that time, during that time period, business was okay. It wasn't the best, but all the changes were during World War I. I obtained orders from the United States Navy for 50 planes. At the end of the war, I began to concentrate on commercial aircraft, secure contracts to supply air mail service, and I built a successful air mail operation. When 1934 hit, my company broke up into three separate parts known today as the United Aircrafts Corp Corporation, Boeing's Airline Company, and the United Airlines. After my business was separated, I started to fancy horses three years later. With all Maximus. Of course, they are a hassle to take care of, so I just bought some land in Seattle and kept them there. Ah, Seattle. Good old place. Beautiful place. Now, isn't my life interesting? Well, I'm glad you agree. My success is nothing short of an amazement, I should say. And even after all these years, my company is still going strong. We impacted the country as a whole by making more available jobs, creating high-grade aircrafts, and helping ordinary people, like you, travel. Our job ranges from qualified engineering manager to human resources journalist, to electronic technical designer, to environmental control technician, and so much more. Some say that I'm a bit of a professionist. Well, I must say that I'm a whole lot of a professionist. Many benefited from my work, such as the Navy, when I delivered them high-grade airplanes, allowing their trainees to practice. I supported their charitable organizations, which one of which was Children's Orthopedic Hospital in Seattle. A committee and women's trustees went to Boeing, who wrote a personal check to the deficit on the condition that I remain anonymous. And I must admit, some people may have suffered from my work as well. Um, such as the personal, the, the passengers that was present in our few crashes. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Um, excuse me, I have to continue counting my piles of money. Now go! Get out!
Thank you for visiting. Oh, Thank you for visiting. <laughs> Have a good evening.